to look put together and fashionable and preppy, you gotta sacrifice comfort. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Hey you, it's Katie U, and I am back. This has been a highly, highly requested video. Y'all have been pounding my DMs, and I deliver. This channel's a democracy, as always. Today, we are going to be tackling the athleisure aesthetic, and when it comes to tackling the athleisure aesthetic, you have to first come clean with your intentions, okay? And I feel like the majority of people fall into two camps, so listen carefully. The first camp is, do you want to be comfortable but fool the universe into thinking you're not? So basically, embody all these other aesthetics of preppy, chic, business, but secretly you're chilling. The second camp is do you genuinely love how the athleisure aesthetic looks and you want people to think that you are on your way to the gym, you just wanna be the best dressed one at the gym. Now the first camp we're gonna call chic. The second camp we're gonna call sporty. I know we're hella generalizing, but just go with it. Throughout this video, you will see that I've catered the tips to both the chic and the sporty camps. So there is something in it for everyone. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. Tip number one. The silhouette of your sweatsuit matters, so don't sleep on it. Oftentimes, the easiness of styling starts even before the clothing piece is in your closet. It starts with what are you choosing off the rack. To illustrate my point, I created one grout fit for the chic camp, one grout fit for the sporty camp. So let's start with the sporty camp. Sweatpants that have the elastic cuff at the hem immediately give off more of a sporty lounge vibe. And if you pair it with the traditional athleisure of hoodies or baggy crewnecks, there is a very cohesive look of, I'm chilling, but I look cool as heck well while doing it. However, I do find that with these sweatpants, it is a little bit more difficult to dress them up or play with other aesthetics. If you are looking to add a little bit more versatility to your wardrobe in a subtle way where only you know that you are wearing athleisure, I highly recommend looking for sweatpants that follow the straight leg silhouette. This straight leg silhouette is what you see in your business slacks, in your jeans. By choosing sweatpants that imitate that same silhouette, you're getting the best of both worlds because you are not only comfy and stretchy, which is the reason why we all love athleisure, but you also look like you're not dressed in that same fabric. I've gotten away with wearing these to the office, to interviews, to class presentations. This is the Hannah Montana pants for me. And if we move on to the top, this is a typical crew neck. It's a sweatshirt, but additional details of the ruffling along the hem of the sleeves creates an element of chicness that you don't get with your traditional silhouettes of hoodies and sweatshirts. Now with the puff sleeve crew neck and the straight leg sweats paired together, you can see that you can branch out of just wearing sneakers and socks, I can throw on sandals or loafers. The possibilities are a lot more versatile. And so if you are trying to go for the more cheek, cheek, <laughs> if you are looking to fool the universe and to thinking that you're not wearing athleisure, opt for athleisure that doesn't look like athleisure. Tip number two, spice it the frick up. When I'm going for a more sporty vibe of, I want to look like I'm lounging, I always try to stick to a monochrome aesthetic because I do think that immediately makes you look put together. And especially with the slouchiness of athleisure fits, this is very useful for creating an air of cohesion and thoughtfulness behind your entire fit. In addition, I love throwing on preppy accent pieces. For example, I threw on my trusty houndtooth vest. You have seen this in so many of my videos, but she is the secret sauce to making any outfit look like it has dimensionality. And for the ultimate cherry on top, I added a cream bag as well. On the other hand, if you're opting for more of a fusion look, gravitating toward defined attention grabbing statement pieces that accentuate the shoulders is a great way to offset the overall slouchy and soft lines. Here I threw on an oversized blazer that happens to be maroon and also happens to match the accents of red on my shoes. Little coordinations like that adds an extra layer of, I thought this through before throwing this on and walking out the door. And so when you put these two looks together side by side, you can see that they are both incredibly cohesive and look like you put a lot of effort into your outfits, but depending on how you decide to accentuate and spice things up, you can lean toward very, very different looks. And the third and final tip is how to tackle the tricky, 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 tricky element of leggings. Leggings are so freaking difficult. And so again, let's start off with the base layer. It's simple, it's classic. I feel like everybody has some version of this outfit in their closet. And we're gonna see how we can turn it into both chic and sporty today. So if your intention is to get away with wearing leggings, but not having the world know that you're wearing leggings, something about the sleek, skin tight nature of leggings screams, I'm on my way to the gym. And so for those who want to fake it till they make it, I advocate for covering it up with something like this gray trench, which is the opposite of 
everything that leggings are, which is boxy and bold and structured and professional. I love layering structured coats on top of hoodies because I freaking adore how the hood looks draped over and outside the coat. I find that that color contrast and the silhouette contrast is very, very fascinating to the eye and keeps the visual emphasis on the neckline a little bit longer. On the other hand, if you want to streamline the sporty aesthetic a little bit more, I recommend softer and shorter outerwear, such as this parka that you see here. What I love about this parka in particular is that it still allows for a slight upstyling because it plays with the duality of two different fabrics. The fabric on the sleeves is this velvet faux fur material that screams luxury without sacrificing comfort. By playing with the different elements, such as fabric, such as silhouette, you can upstyle any aesthetic and any look depending on where you want it to go. Oh, and my final bonus tip, I'm editing the video and I forgot to say this while I was filming, is throw on a hat. Everything looks freaking cooler with a hat. As you can see, with this fit and a Nike cap, so much better. Back to the video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our time together was so short, but so sweet. I really hope that these three tips help you out. Let me know if you have any other fashion dilemmas in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing your lovely faces next week. Happy holidays in the meantime. I love you so much. Bye.